And there we go, she's all colored. Let's make her light up. So I've designed my card front so that it's a little bit smaller than my card base, which gives it this white frame. So I have to be very aware of where I put any foam tape underneath and where I put my mechanisms. So the first thing I did was I transferred all of my light information to the actual card base. So now I have a little doodle of the moon, an indicator of where my stars are, and also the windows in the end of my trailer. So this is going to help me plan out my lights. And all I did for that is literally I stuck my panel in behind and used my light and the image transferred through the paper so it allowed me to pinpoint all of those specific areas. So easy peasy. The other thing that I've decided is that I'm going to put my button or my battery pack basically underneath the door on the front of that camper. So I've also indicated that plate. Okay, we're going to start by making our little battery pocket. And I am going to make it so that it sits like this so the battery isn't going to um, very easily come out. Actually, uh, but it'll, actually I'm going to do it this way. And that will allow me to put a little piece of paper in to block the circuit for transport. And I'll show you that towards the end here. But let's adhere this little piece here. Just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back. And all it is is just a little folded piece of paper. That's it. Super, super, super simple. And that's where our little three volt battery is going to sit. And the paper basically allows the copper tape to go around the paper and make contact with that battery. And that's why we kind of need that fold over piece. So I've cut a very long strip of the copper tape and I actually like to cut my copper tape literally right in half. So I have two thin lines of tape to use. You do not have to do this to make this work. Okay. So we're going to start off by creating the positive side of the copper tape. Okay. So the positive side is going to be the top of the battery and the negative is going to be the underside of the battery. And what I need to do is I need to take this copper tape and I need to start it on the beginning or sorry on the top of that piece of paper. We're going to wrap it around and we're going to bring it all the way across and down. You have to be very careful, careful, I can't talk today. <laughs> of this joint here. So make sure your tape goes down the crevice and you make sure that you have lots of tape to go over that bend. Then we're going to take it out and we need to basically connect all of these lights together. So I'm going to take my tape all the way out here and we're going to take it up. Now I have to remember I need um, some space because remember we have that outline. Now I could combat that by just putting matting it on another piece of white paper and then putting it on top and you know what I think let's let's do that let's save some effort here of uh, trying to remember to leave the gap. I think it'll be much easier. So we're going to take that positive line and we're going to go down very close to our stars or where we're going to put our lights here. Then we need to go over and we're going to connect it to this star and this star. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple of lights in here. So I need to also add those and let's 
let's see how are we going to do this here we're going to have one here let's see if we can fit in three i'm hoping i can get three we may have to um fiddle with this a bit so we want to keep this line on the same side of the sticker so it's going to come down this side this side here and then I want to put something in the middle of here I'm not going to put multiple I think I'm just going to keep it to a single light so we're going to bring our tape down and to this light source and then I think we'll go up to this light source and then we're going to put another light in here but maybe we'll go um, just trying to keep everything on the correct side here we'll go to this light which is another star this light and down so this is all the positive feed to all of those mechanisms. Now we have to do the same with a copper tape piece for all of the negative side. So it's going to start underneath and on underneath that battery. So we're going to need it to go out and we're going to go up and we're going to go around our little pocket here and down we're just going to kind of go parallel to everything we need to add it to this star and this star we're going to come down and this star and this star and in to do those three mechanisms on the moon the idea is not to try and cross that positive line. Not that it's not impossible to make it work, but I'm trying to be conscious of where that tape is going. Okay, so there we go. So basically, I'm just going to run it parallel to wherever my positive is but of course you can't cross them otherwise your circuit won't work so let's lay down that copper tape so I always try and make my piece of copper tape as long as I need it or longer I would rather have leftover copper tape than have to fix it if you have one piece it's going to tend to work better because it's not going to have any joints to contend with. So I'm going to run it on the inside of our little battery holder. I'm using my bone folder to kind of help me keep it nice and smooth. Now be very careful with this joint. This is a three-dimensional joint. There we go. Get the initial piece kind of stuck down onto the flat surface of my card here. So I'm going to try and run it. There we go. Perfect. I'm just using my bone folder to make the tape nice and flat. I find that the less creases you have, the better. Okay, so four corners, you kind of fold it back on itself, kind of on an angle, and then you want to, sometimes you have to help it along, and then you fold it back on itself, so it's now stuck to itself. Again, we're aiming to try and stay as close to our light indicator spots there as possible again you just fold it kind of back on itself the great thing about copper tape versus a wire is that this is not bulky okay 
and you can go anywhere and you can add as many lights as you want to your circuit. So you're not limited by the amount of wires because your copper tape is basically your wire. So, all right, so we got to make another bend here. I'm just going to trim off my backer piece just to make it a little bit easier to use here. Again, back on itself. You want to keep that piece of copper wire intact. It just it will make your circuit work so much better. Okay. So... Again, corners aren't too hard to make. And we're going to go around that corner using the bone folder to kind of aid in the positioning here. <coughs> A little bit of back on itself. I'm going to come down the side here. We got to get that third piece of our moon. Now, the copper tape will bend slightly without folding back on itself. So you can make a slight. It is definitely flexible, which is fabulous. Again, this may be interesting to see if I cut enough off here. I don't think I did, but that's okay. We will figure this out. Just flattening out that curve all the way up to that upper star. Back on ourselves. It's a little bit of back on that copper piece right there. Okay. There we go. So we got the majority of that done. I'm just going to carefully go over everything there. And I am going to go and I'm, I will come back and finish this off. But let's go and finish the negative side of the circuit. And instead of going out here, I'm going to go up instead. That'll save me some tape. So again, peel off the back, and we'll come out the top. I'd like to put a fair amount of tape on the inside of that battery housing. Just ensures that there will be a really good connection between the battery and our tape. All right. It'd be a little finicky because that's a really tight corner there. <laughs> okay. So, back on ourselves. Oop. Again, I'm trying my best to keep it flat if I can. It doesn't always work, but we sh surely aim to do it that way. Okay, so I'm going to cut the corner here, we're going to go up, just on an angle up towards that first light, and give our copper tape a crease, okay. 
Okay, and back on ourselves. Just a tiny, tiny bit here. And around the corner. Alright, I'm going to finish this up and I'll be back. Okay, so I've decided to not go with the lights in the trailer. We're going to forego those, so therefore I didn't finish off the end of the circuit. I've decided that my moon is going to be orange. So I've used our amazing new light sampler and this one contains white, red, yellow, blue, pink, orange, and green lights. Great way to start off your chibi cards and creations. Okay, so I've already applied one orange one and I'll come back and put the other two orange on that moon, but let's put on the rest of the white. So we're gonna use white lights for the stars. So all you have to do is match up your positive side and your negative side. And because all these are our stickers, this is so, so super duper easy to lay them in. All you do is stick them to your paper. So I'm going to do that for all of my stars, making sure that not only do my stickers overlap the correct direction, positive to positive, negative to negative, but they're also in the right position on those penciled circles. Okay, again, we're gonna forego this one. We've got a little one here. Again, I'm just double checking that I've got that light in the right position. Two more white ones to go. Again, you want to make sure positive to positive, negative to negative. And hopefully this last one will have enough connection here that we're good. Again, double checking position. Alrighty, so I have made a few corrections. I have replaced the orange ones with white. I decided that because the orange were drawing too much electricity, it was dimming my white ones. So I decided to pull them off and replace them with uh, white LEDs instead. And so now everything is nice and bright and clear and working. Hooray! So let's add some foam tape to disguise our little battery housing here and we'll get this card finally finished. All right guys, so I have added all of my double layer of foam tape. Now I always leave kind of a single layer of foam tape with a piece of whatever cardstock I use for my card base here because I'm going to slip my piece of paper over top and I don't want it to stick to anything. I want it to be able to be removable. So I always uh, put a piece of paper over top of that piece of foam tape and everything is now ready to be peeled off and apply the card front is ready to be applied. And before I do that, I'm going to add some white strips around that hopefully aren't going to interfere with any of my stars. And then we'll have a finished card. So here's our finished card. I'm going to put a sentiment on the inside instead of the outside. I did stamp the word press on the door. And let's turn out the lights and see how she glows. There we go. That's some glowing moon and stars. Thanks for joining me today. 
I hope you learned something and I hope you'll try out our fabulous products. Thanks again for joining me. Have a great day, guys.